Blake Boss here, folks. Today we're going to be talking dry bulk shipping. We're going to be looking at famous speculator George Soros recently taking a stake in a few dry bulk shipping companies. So Soros recently bought around 590,000 shares of dry ships and 77,000 shares of Diana shipping. This comes out to around $1.8 million stake in dry ships and $840,000 stake in Diana shipping. To put this in perspective for Soros' management firm, that firm manages around $6.8 billion in equities. That's around 2,300 holdings in stock. So this is a very small part of the overall portfolio. He also owns a small position in Navios Maritime Holdings and Navios Maritime Partners. So quite a few dry bulk shipping stocks here, but overall, very small part of the overall portfolio. So when we look at what would motivate George's firm to get into these positions, I think it's very valuable to look at kind of how his investing ideology works. And so to do that, we're going to be looking at a book called Money Masters of Our Time by John Train. It has an excellent biography over Soros' investing style. So Soros, by nature, is a speculator that likes to really play big macroeconomic themes and get out in and out of positions quickly and on margin. He'll leverage his positions heavily. His trading strategy re resolves around three points. He likes to start small, and then if things work out, he'll build larger positions. He also doesn't need to know everything about a particular investment, just enough to have an edge on the overall market. He's not going to wait around, try to get to know a company long enough and miss out on a move. Also, he really believes in correctly judging the risk inherent in a position the moment he establishes a position. So he needs to be aware of how big or small of a risk it could be. So why why would he want to invest in dry bulk shipping? Well, that's likely because the sector is a haven for traders and is supposedly set up for a rebound in 2014-2015 for shipping rates. You can track those on the Baltic Dry Shipping Index. So after the recent sell-off here recently in dry bulk shipping, it appears this firm has pulled the trigger in anticipation of a rate rally next year or the year after. But the real question is, investors, should you follow Soros into these shippers? Well, Soros is a trader by nature, and I am not, so I'll be sitting this one out. Plus, if you look over time, these shipping companies never make any real money. Look at the free cash flow over time, folks. Generally, they lose money year after year and instead funnel a lot of money into CEOs consulting businesses on the side that make a lot of profits while shareholders over the long term don't make any. Search for those related party transactions when you're looking at these companies or any company for that matter, folks. But if you're a trader, I wish you luck in any of these companies. And if you're a long-term investor, I'd say stay far, far away. Soros is a very smart man and has a lot of skill when it comes to trading, but the majority of us do not. So I think that's a wise words of caution there. That's all I have for you today, folks, on Dry Bulk Shipping. But if you'd like some other stocks, you can email us at retirerichatfool.com. We'll send you three stock picks, help you save for retirement. That's all I have for you today, folks. Thanks for watching, and Fool on.